But there are other tools that you can use in here. Uh, if I choose the line tool, now when you use the line tool, you can draw in vertically ascending or descending notes. But I found um, the length quantize in this case kind of stays as it is. So if I was to choose eighths and draw in a, um, a downhill row of notes, what happens is the length quantize is set to 30 seconds, so it's putting in as many 30 second notes as it needs before it reaches a step going downhill and that ends, you end up with a jumble that's not really useful so let me just circle those and delete the lot the best way to use this is to set the length quantize the same as the quantize so with them both on eights if I start at C3 here and draw uphill and just go slightly above one note above C4 you can see it there on the left indicator there's C4 on the piano on the left, yeah, there's C sharp four, D four, right, and let go. Okay, what it's done is it's put a ladder of ascending notes like that, which sounds like this. Cool. Um, now, we get the regular stepping by setting the length the same as the quantize, the length quantize, but you might go, oh, I don't want the notes to spill into each other like that. Well, in that case, simply circle a whole lot, as we showed earlier, and just grab any one of them and first set your length quantized to something shorter, like sixteenths, and just drag them in and make them shorter, so they'll be more staccato. And of course, if you click anywhere in this area, it'll deselect all those notes, but it keep playing. You might go, oh, the scale's not right. Well, then just grab one note and push it up. And you can change the scale. Yeah, so that's that's um, quite a useful tool. And of course, you can do it the other way around, going downhill. Just set this back to eighths. So I've got eighths, quantize and eighths, length quantize. Drag downhill, and I've got a downhill row of notes. Same thing. Same thing. Grab the arrow tool, highlight them all. Get to the back end of any one, make it short, oh, set the length quantize to 16, something shorter, yeah, and they're shorter. So that's one cool tool. Let's rub them out. But there are even more cool tools. Hey, check this out. Set the quantize to eights and the length to eights. These need to be the same for this, yeah. And uh, click on the line tool thing menu and choose square. Now watch this. With it set to eights, so I get one square wave cycle, and I can draw it up and down in height, for every eighth division, right? There's another one, there's another one. Okay, so just hold down with the left mouse, drag across, draw up or down to make the distance larger or shorter. Let go. Ah, sorry, I made a mistake there. <laughs> Edit, undo, paint events. The length quantize has to be half that, or shorter. Than the quantize for this to work. That's correct. Yeah, here we go. Let go. Oh, look at that. Okay. Let's rub them all out. Circle it. Click any one. Rub them out. Choose the square tool again. If I want the upper note to start first, I just drag it the other way. Not that way. So the lower note comes first, but that way. So the higher note comes first. Yeah. And let's say I want them to be closer together in dis in in pitch. Just do that, and we've got this. Yeah. And the same thing applies where you can highlight the whole lot, set the length quantized to something even shorter, like 30 seconds, and I can make them even shorter like that. So that's another way of putting in rhythmic stuff. If you don't like the difference bet uh, in distance between the pitch of the notes, simply deselect by clicking anywhere on the background with the arrow tool, grab one of the rows, and drag it down. Whoa. Ah. There is one thing about this. The quantize is currently set to eights. Yes. No, hang on a minute. Let me undo that. So as soon as I grab this row of notes, which are all in the middle of an eighth division, they want to snap to an eighth. So make sure your quantize is set to sixteenth so that like they can stay in this middle position between these notes on every eighth beat. And I can now drag them let's drag them down in pitch and now it sounds like this. Now, 
that can get you some cool patterns as starting points and you can mess with individual notes. It's just a quick way of putting in these kind of things. Um, if I set it back to eight, oh no, let's set it to quarters with a length quantize of eighths and now using the square wave I can get the classic disc open, burton, burton, you know, bass line. Um, okay, so just, I want the bottom one to start first, like doom dip, doom dip, so drawing the bottom one first, actually, let me un edit, undo that. Let's, let's go down a bit to a lower octave. Okay, here we go. Oops, there we go, and I draw those like that. And now I've got this. Yeah. Um, and it's a, the, each note is spilling into the other. The end of this starts at the very beginning of that, and the end of this starts at the very beginning of that. So I'll do the same thing. I'll set my length quantize after selecting all the notes to something shorter like 16th and I'll just grab any one and make them all shorter and now I've got this bass line is it not an octave apart no it's not okay in that case simple grab this row uh, wait a minute though they're on the quarter divisions so it's okay to leave the quantize on quarters and drag them up to C1 ah they're deselected hang on let it undo move grab the whole lot move them all up to C1 right and then change the quantize because remember these are these these notes, the other row, the other half of the square wave cycle, they're in the middle of the quarter beat quantize, and we don't want them to, as soon as they grab, to snap to the quarter beat. Let's turn that off. We don't want them to snap to the quarter beat, so just set this to eighths. And now, now they've got their own quantize division, and grab that row and move that up to C2, and now they're octave apart, and you've got the classic bass line. You know, adjust your tempo, adjust your sound, blah blah blah, tweak the note, you could put this one up a bit, you know, whatever. It's just another way of putting in notes. Drag over the whole lot, grab the rubber tool, delete them. Um, I could use also the sign tool for this, which draws in a sine wave like that, you see either starting with a peak or starting with a trough and it snaps to the quantize which in this case is eight so you get one sine wave for every eighth um, it does pretty much the same thing yeah okay but um, I tend to stick using the square wave for those because whatever you could use the triangle wave let me just uh, grab the rubber and rub all these out let's choose the triangle wave there look triangle again does a similar thing puts in triangles at the at the snap resolution, which in this case is eighths. Okay, and you can use that, it'll do the same thing. But these other, uh, the, the, um, the sign that's triangle, uh, they tend to come in more useful when, when you're tweaking controller data, and we'll get to that in a sec. <coughs> so, just to recap, let's rub all these out. Ah! Edit, undo, paint event, I want my rubber. Circle them all, or rub them out. Okay, so just to recap, with the, you can choose the line tool, set the quantize, set the length sh uh, the same as the quantize, in this case both eights, and you can draw a descending ladder of notes, edit, undo paint events, or sorry, a descending or an ascending row of notes, and then adjust the length, as I said, edit, undo paint events. You can choose the square wave and making sure that your length quantize is always shorter than your quantize. You can draw in those kind of things. Okay, and we've done all that. And the pencil tool for drawing in just normal notes. Okay, and we've also looked at how to make them all by grabbing the whole lot longer or shorter. Okay. Let's rub those out now. What we want to do now is move on to the controller lane.